Today I will be reading the book The Giving Tree. This book was written by Shel Silverstein in 1964. It is about a young boy who has a friendship with a tree, and as he grows up the tree has to deal with some changes in their relationship and how his needs change as he grows up. While I am reading, I want you to think about how you feel when someone gives you a gift and how you feel when you are given a gift. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein Once there was a tree, and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come, and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. And the boy grew older. and the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches, and eat apples and play in my shade, and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money, and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then, one day, the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy, and she said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches, and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife, and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. 
I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. While an old stump is good for sitting and resting, come, boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The End this beloved book has stayed popular and well-loved for over 50 years now. I would imagine that some of your parents were read this book when they were kids as well. The tree in this book gives everything that she can to the boy as he grows up. When he is a little boy, he just wants to play on her trunk and in her branches, but what he wants and needs changes as he grows older. What the tree cares about most is that the boy is happy. Even if he doesn't, even if she doesn't always seem to be happy. Before reading, I asked you to think about how you felt when you give a gift and how you feel when you are given a gift. Something that I learned from this book is that giving gifts can make someone just as happy or even happier than when you are given a gift. This book teaches us a lot about caring for others and not just for ourselves. People like your parents, family members, and teachers are like the tree in a way, because they want what is best for you. Try giving a gift to someone, whether it is something you make or something you buy, and think about how good it makes you feel to see them happy with their gift. Next week, we will be reading the book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Thank you for listening, and I hope you tune in again.